What's going on everybody? It's me, Truck Driver Sean. And today, uh, we're gonna take a look at three Seymour Duncan pickups in reference as a spectrum. One is the um, Slug, which until recently was a custom shop pickup. Uh, I've had mine since back when the last of the custom shops before they became like a regular model. Uh, I also have the Jupiter, which is the West Hotch um, signature and the tested improved Nazgul. So I'm not going to mess with the amp. I have it set to just a metal tone. I'm going to play a few riffs and the way you'll see it is you'll have the riff. I'll play it through with a pickup and through with another uh, guitar with our uh, the riff stays the same, the guitars will change. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, you'll get the gist of it. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna hear the uh, slug, then you'll hear the West Hotch, and then you'll hear the uh, uh, Nazgul. Jesus, <laughs> it's been a long day. Very long day. Yeah, all right, very cool. So let's, uh. We're gonna hook up over here. We're in the middle of demoing the Natus by Fortin, so we're gonna to continue to use it because it's just it's a phenomenal pedal, right? We're gonna put that through the Red Beard uh, Poltergeist, which uh, uh, Poltergeist Gollum, too many damn names. The Red Beard Gollum, which is a 50 watt power amp, it's gonna do nothing except for have a clean. Uh, so yeah, speaking of cleans, everybody hates cleans, right? <laughs> so we will show you what each of these pickups do clean as well all right so you're gonna pretty much hear one riff three guitars one riff three guitars so i'm gonna do like an acoustic riff then i'm gonna do a electric strummy type riff then i'm gonna play like a meathead riff and then i'm gonna play like a thrashy riff and that same riff will bore you to death but you'll hear all three pickups all right, very cool. Yeah, let's hook the shit up. All right, everybody, so we're back. Uh, in my solar, we have the slug, which comes in at 48K. And we'll also be using my Gorilla Smoke, which has the Nazgul, which comes in at 13K. And the Jupiter will be in my Custom Shop Telecaster from Gorilla. And that is got the West House Jupiter, yeah. All right, let's do some cleans. Uh, I'm just gonna play the same riff and we'll switch to the guitars just so you can see I'm not faking anything. You know, the internet is what it is. Next, we will do the, uh, we'll go with the Nazgul next. Oh, hey. That's unfortunate. You asshole. There we go. Yeah. Not used to having to monkey around with a whole bunch of guitars, and I don't do all those crazy editing things that all the big YouTubers do. So I'm not paid for my time, and that's what makes my videos neat, because I'm not paid for my time. Here we go. All right, so that was the Nazgul. 
Next will be the uh, Jupiter, the West Hatch, West Hotch signature. So uh, just for another comparison, because we're all about comparisons in this video, right? Mm -hmm. The slug comes in at $149, which used to be $190. Yeah, I feel like I should be paid back 50 bucks, but it is what it is. The Nazgul you can get for about $109, and the uh, Jupiter is $139. So let's do the Jupiter's Queens. All right, so there we go. There's the cleans. So we're gonna go over and uh, we're gonna turn on some gain. And let's, uh, yeah, let's strum some chords with gain. <laughs> That is the Jupiter. Nazgul is next. Here we go. Next up, the slug. Dun, 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 It's like playing musical friggin' guitars. <laughs> Probably should learn how to edit. Make my life a lot easier. But, I don't know. It's kind of like doing it this way. You can see I'm not really messing with anything. You're literally getting it the way it is, right? All right. Here we go. some strummy chords so let's uh let's just do something kind of caveman-ish caveman was the slug. Next we will do the Nazgul. Ugh. Yes, mate. Here we go. Next, the West Hot Jupiter. Da -da 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 da I might actually reach out to one of my friends that knows how to do editing and see if he can figure out a little bit better way of doing this. <laughs> That's gonna be a long ass fucking video. All right, here we go. <laughs> All 
right. Yeah. So now we're going to do something a little thrashy. Again, the Jupiter. <laughs> Next up, the Nazgul. All right, now on to the, whoops, <laughs> might help to unplug it, the Was Hotch. A Jupiter. Wait a minute. Which one am I on now? Yeah, you already did that one. It's the slug. Yeah, we're doing the slug. Hopefully, I didn't just fuck that up. Yep, probably did, but oh well. All right, now for the slug. <laughs> All right, so yeah, hopefully you can get a kind of a good feel. So I'm just gonna do like a little free jam with all three of them, be different riffs but it will make it a little bit of fun. So again, this is with the slug. Next, we will do the uh, Nazgul, the Nazgula, <laughs> the Nazgula, Nazgul, Nazgul. Yes, mate. The Nazgul. Here we go. Nazgul. The West Hotch, the West Hotch, Jupiter, Jupiter, ya puta with the Jupiter, was that a Jupiter? Mm -hmm. Yes, mate. All right, here we go. <laughs>
A little bonus, a little extra, because you know I always like to go a little extra with air and extra dry. Yes, I'm that guy with air and extra dry. I have a prototype pickup with Heathen guitar pickups that I am testing out. So I'm just kind of curious because we have three monster Seymour uh, Duncans there and the owner and builder of Heathen is a huge fan of Seymour Duncan, so I know he's not going to be upset that I tossed this in there. Hopefully, the people that are like worship at the at the ground that Seymour Duncan walks on doesn't get upset that I'm tossing this in there. But just kind of want to see where his pickup sits with three juggernauts. Everybody's like, "Dude, what's up with there not being much gain?" I wanted to really hear what these pickups do. If I soak it in gain you're just not really gonna hear what the pickup does. Once you get to a certain point of drenching shit and gain, you kind of lose a lot of what that pickup has to offer. Okay? Argue with me all you want. Trust me, you can go ahead and, and argue, but from where I see it, that's what I know. So uh, here's a little bit of an unnamed pickup from Heathen Pickup. All right, so there you go. There's a little taste of that. Uh, the reasons why it's not in the whole video is because this is a prototype. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that has to happen to it. This is a medium to high output. Uh, I believe it comes in right where the Nazgul does, right around 13K. Uh, so obviously it's super tight, very articulate. And I'm in drop C, by the way. All the guitars were in drop C. So yeah, anyhow. You get to see what the difference is between those Seymours, and uh, this is an unnamed pickup with um, Heathen pickups, and it's not quite as hot as these three. It's definitely not as hot as the Slug. The Slug is just a juggernaut coming in at 48K. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> it's like three times stronger than anything else that we've used. But you can see where they come in. Like Out of all four of these, none of them are garbage. They all depending on how much gain you like to use, where you like to put your gain stage, and where you like to have your EQ curve, all of these pickups can take you to where you want to go, some quicker than others. So if anything, maybe this video will find you and do you good on making a decision on buying a pickup, because pickups aren't cheap. I know they seem like they're cheap at a, you know, anywhere from $109 to $200 or whatever it is that people get for pickups nowadays, but at the end of the day, um, they are important but they're not as important as some people would want you to believe. You've got to have them to have you want your guitar work, but um, there's a lot more on this side of stuff than this. Just saying. All right, very cool. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to my shitty channel, come on, man, just, just back and do it. <laughs> Gear used today, I use a Solar A2, I use a couple Gorillas, and a Deviant Reaper. Um, Obviously, pickups used today was 
the Slug, Nazgul, and Jupiter got tested with the same riff against one another, and then the Open Jam I added this one just to see where it sat with the other uh, pickups, just because it's in the prototype stage, and just it's interesting to see where it sits with what, what's going to be his competitors. Uh, there's, um, I'm pretty sure Royce would like to go on and say, not really competitors. Um, they're all in the same thing. They're all like brothers. You know, you're, you're doing the same thing. There's plenty of money out there. No one's really better than anybody else. It's just people that are more experienced, right? So, yeah, there's plenty of room. Be a community. Always be a community. If you have to choose what to do, be a community. Being a singular asshole is just that. You're a singular asshole. Yeah. Anyhow, very cool. I'll catch you in the next video. Please, 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 subscribe to the goddamn channel, would you? <laughs> oh, shit. Redbeard, power amp, right there. That's a Grendel. The Natus distortion pedal from Fortin Amplification. Going into my custom erected cab loaded with Eminence DB77 and a Man of War, mic'd up with an SM57 going directly into that camera. Right there. That is a Zoom QN84K. All right. Until next time, my name is uh, Captain Fatty Pants, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.